As your business grows, you would branch out to new locations to cater to more people. And when you have multiple branches, you have to check the performance of each branch, track the transactions, file GST returns on time, and more. Wouldn't it be great if you can manage all your branches in one Zoho Books organization? With the branches feature, you can add branches in your Zoho Books organization, manage multiple GST IINs, manage all transactions across your branches, file GST returns of all your branches, and keep track of branch-wise performance all under one roof. Let's dive in and see how to add branches in Zoho Books. The first step is to enable the branches feature. Go to settings and click branches. Then click the enable branches button. Please note, only the admins of the organization can enable this feature. Once you've enabled the branches feature, you cannot disable it. However, you can delete the branches. You'll receive an in-app notification once this feature has been enabled. Your current organization will be named Head Office and it will be considered the primary branch. Now, we can categorize branches based on their GST IN. Branches within the same state where the GST IN remains the same for all and branches in different states where there are different GST IINs. If you have just one GST IN, you can directly add the branches. However, if you have multiple GST IINs for your company, then you have to add all your GST IINs in Zoho Books first and then add the branches. Let's see how to do that now. Click Taxes on the left side menu. Under the GST settings, the GST IN of this organization will be listed. Click the plus new GST IN button below that. Enter the GST IN of the new branch. You can enter the GST IN registered date if you wish. To enable reverse charge in sales transactions, mark this box. If you engage in overseas trading, mark the box against import or export. And then, if your business is involved in the sale of digital services to overseas customers and you wish to track them, mark this box. Then, click Save. Similarly, you can add all the GST IINs of your company here and then associate them with a corresponding branch. Please note, you have to configure the general GST settings, online filing settings and the default tax preferences separately for each GST IIN. Now, let's see how to add branches. Click Branches on the left side menu. Then, click the Add Branch button. Enter the branch name and the branch address. Choose a primary contact for the branch. Then, choose the GST IN from the drop-down. The GST IINs that you had added for the state chosen will be listed here. Next, select the transaction series from the drop-down. Different branches might follow different transaction series. Let's say you have branches in Chennai, Mumbai and Bangalore and the prefix and suffix for all the transaction numbers is different. For example, this is the invoice number series for the three branches. You can set the prefix and suffix for the estimates, sales orders, credit notes, journal numbers, etc. for all your branches. Click Add Transaction Series. Give the series name. Enter the suffix and prefix for all the modules. And save it. We have created a transaction series and associated it with this branch. Then click save again to add this branch. 
you can add more branches the same way. You can also click Transaction Series Preferences and create more transaction series separately. These will be available as drop-down options when you add branches. Now, you'd notice the star icon against the head office. This symbolizes the primary branch. That is, this is the default branch for all the transactions. When you enable the branches feature, the head office is the primary branch by default. However, you can change it. Hover over the branch that you wish to be the primary branch. You'll see the star here. Click that. Then, click Mark as Primary. That's it. You've changed the primary branch. Now that we have added branches, let's see how to associate a branch to a transaction and how to track them. When you create any transaction, say sales or purchase transactions, manual journals, bank entries or EV bills, you have the option to associate it to a branch. Let's create an invoice and see how it works. Return to the dashboard and click sales. Then click invoices. Click plus new invoice. You'll now see the branches field here. Select the branch for which you wish to create this invoice. The transaction series that you had configured for this branch will be displayed here. The GST IN and the address of the branch chosen will be displayed on the invoice and the relevant intrastate or interstate taxes will be applied. Enter all the details and then save it. Similarly, you can associate branches with the other transaction modules as well. Please note, if you have not associated any transaction to a branch, then it will be associated with the primary branch by default. All the transactions raised before enabling the branches module will be associated to the head office. However, you can select the invoices and change the branch using the bulk update option if needed. Payments can be made or collected between various branches. For example, sometimes you might raise an invoice from branch A, but your customer would pay the head office directly. You can record this by choosing the head office as a branch while recording the payment. However, a transaction created from one branch cannot be converted to a transaction for another branch. For example, an estimate associated with branch A cannot be converted to an invoice for branch B. Now, let's move on to the next section and see how to track the performance of each branch. This is where the dashboard plays an important role. Click the All Branches button above Dashboard on the top left corner. Then, select the branch. The total payables, total receivables, cash flow, expenses, etc. give an overview of this branch's performance. If you want to go into the specifics, you can also get the branch-wise reports. Let's see how to generate the profit and loss report of this branch. Go to Reports. Select the report that you wish to view. In this case, Profit and Loss. Click Customize Report. In the General tab, under the Advanced Filter option, click Add Filters. Select Branch as a field and then choose is in as a comparator and select the branch from the drop down. Then click Run Report. Here you have the profit and loss report of this branch. Similarly, you can generate branch wise reports for the other business reports as well. If you have multiple GST IONs, Zoho Books will generate GST reports for each GST ION separately. 
and you can push them all to the GSTN directly from Zoho Books. Go to GST Filing. All the GST INs that you have added will be listed here. You can click View Summary to view all the returns associated with the GST IN. Please note, if you wish to directly file the GST returns for your other GST INs as well, then you have to enable the Online Filing option in Settings. If you click the Enable GST Filing button under the GST IN, it will direct you there. You can also get the tax summaries for each GST IN in the Reports module. Go to Reports and scroll down to the Taxes section. Click GSTR 3B Summary. Choose the month and the GST IN here to run the report. Similarly, you can get the other reports as well. You can also add opening balances for each of your branches. Go to Settings, then click Opening Balances. You can choose the branch here and enter the opening balance the same way you did for the head office. By default, only the admins of the organization can add branches in Zoho Books. However, you can also grant this permission to other users in your organization. Let's see how to do that. Go to Settings and click Users and Roles. Go to Roles. Click Edit against the role to which you wish to grant this permission. If it is a default role, you cannot edit it. Scroll down to Branches. You can choose to give limited access to the Branches feature or even give full access. Then click Save. Now all the users associated with this role will have the permission to add branches. If you do not wish to track a branch anymore, you can either mark it as inactive or delete it. With that, we hope you've got a good understanding of the branches feature in Zoho Books. If you have any queries, you can write to support.india at the rate zohobooks.com. We're happy to help. Thank you.